up guys, it's Christian Stack up on here and I know I haven't come out with a video in a couple weeks but that's because I've been really busy and with summer and whatnot. but this summer I'm going to be coming out with a bunch of videos on iOS and uh, Apple devices so uh, starting off uh, go ahead and uh, head into Cydia but um, I haven't told you yet what this video is about but it's about well you can judge by the heading but or the title of the video but um I'm going to show you how to download music straight from your iPod or iPhone or iPad and put it into your music library, the default um, music player. So uh, you're going to add this source here. Uh, go to manage sources and add uh, insanely.repo.com. I'll have that down in the description if you guys didn't catch it and if you need help spelling it. But um, go ahead and go to search once you have added that source and search up music and uh, if you have several popping up just click on uh, each and every one of them until you find the one that um, says uh, 2.7-4 and it'll have an insanely repo.com logo right here so you'll yeah uh, that's that's the one you need to download the one from insanely so uh, um, install that and respring your device and once you have done that, um, it'll be on your springboard and go into it. And what I haven't told you that this works uh, on iOS 5.1.1 and below, but I advise you, I recommend you being on the latest firmware possible. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, as you can see, it's cracked by Fabius. Um, go ahead and click on search and search up any song you want. Doesn't really matter. Um, just gonna do a song here and you can look around the page to see which song suits your needs or which song that you uh, you think is the right one and so just click on download it shouldn't take you to there I believe it should just start downloading but um you'll have to mess around and go on different ones and stuff like that but once you have clicked on one and on the bottom it shows the little one on transfers it'll be downloading it and uh, it should download pretty quick uh, should have uh, pretty good download speed and um, once it's done it'll be in your download section right here so we'll wait for this to be done and this is very easy, very simple. So when you're on the go, you can download music straight from your iDevice and put it into your native music library without having to go in the app and listen listening to the music inside of your app. And this is very useful um, on any occasion at all when you're out um, out and about and you want to listen to music, but you don't have the song and you can just go into this app and this application, search it up and download it and just transfer it to your music library and you'll have it there. So once it says it's finished, you can go ahead and tap clean up and go to your downloads. And as you can see here, it has an exclamation point. That means there's something wrong with the info of this song. So you tap on it and tap on edit tags and as you can see there's no album so we'll type one in and once it has a check mark and everything's good to go you can go ahead and tap on add to iPod and it'll import it and everything very simple very very simple music on the go f straight from your iDevice and put it into your native music library to listen to and have it there and just knowing that it's that simple of listening to the music you want and when you want it so thanks for watching guys like I said and it'll help if you guys subscribe like and comment if you have any problems tell me if you like the app if it helped you if you think it's useful at all and um, I'll see you guys soon this week with a new video on my iPod basically on the iDevices, on an iPhone, and probably an iPad. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys soon.